by-elections are on the cards for residents of Malutia Pafong municipality in the Eastern Free State. With them comes hope of improved services. Now, the municipality which incorporates Kwakwa, Harrismith and Castel has uh, in the recent past been confronted with serious challenges. Among them, an ESCOM electricity bill of over 2 billion rand, rampant corruption and poor service delivery. Now, six political parties and 16 independent candidates will compete in this week's by-elections. Problems in Maluti Apofung have been recurring for years. Severe water shortages and constant power outages the order of the day. In addition, allegations of widespread corruption and maladministration resulting in the non-payment of bills. There is no municipality as we speak and then nobody cares. The people that are currently supposed to be looking after the people, they just don't care. Uh, as we are farm dwellers, we are wishing that they mustn't uh, discriminate us because we are also a human being. Although we are from the farm, we are all the same and we've also got the right. And we are struggling with the clinics as well and uh, water. Sometimes we, we stay out of water about three months. Our people are also telling us that uh, the ANC and the independents, the 15 expelled ANC councillors, this municipality has collapsed in their hands. Before they were expelled, those councillors, they were ANC councillors. The dire situation in the municipality led to the departure of former mayor Vusi Chabalala. Some of his comrades in the ANC voted with opposition political parties. The municipality was then put under administration. Earlier this year, the sheriff attached municipal assets in an effort to recover 2.8 billion rent owed to ESCOM. Workers then down tools in demand of payments owed to them. Our national uh, government, COCTA, should really intervene as soon as possible before things get worse. Really, this is a disgrace. We are very much embarrassed of what is happening. The provincial ANC condemned the removal of Chabalala through a vote of no confidence. 16 of their councillors were subsequently removed. 15 wards are up for grabs in the upcoming by-elections. We committed that we'll come back after elections, solve ANC problems, because ANC was having problems. Remember, we removed the mayor. We had councillors who were not even listening to the organisation. They were also removed. We tried to cancel them and bring them back as late as last two weeks. We failed. <clears throat> That's why now we are having by-elections. But in terms of services, there's more hope. The expelled councillors intend to contest the by-elections as independent candidates. ANC really, instead of really protecting people who are fighting corruption in the municipality, they decided to side with people who are thieves and thugs in the municipality. So that's why we feel this is no longer the ANC that we joined. This is a different ANC. On Wednesday, August the 28th, Thousands of Maluti Apofung residents are expected to cast their votes in the by-election. Tabiso Khadebe, SABC News, Maluti Apofung.